the stack shield. When you calculate the cost of debt, you calculate it as KD is equal to interest into 1 minus tax divided by net proceeds or current market price. Here, what does the 1 minus tax stand for? Let us take an example to understand this better. Assume that you approach a bank to take a loan of rupees 100 from the bank. The interest you pay is rupees 10 charged at 10 percentage by the bank. So then logically, KD should be 10 rupees interest divided by 100 loan amount which is 10 percentage. Where does the 1 minus T come from? To understand this even better, let us take two companies A and B. A has an equity capital of 1 lakh whereas B has an equity capital of 50,000. In terms of debt, A has zero debt while B has 50,000 debt. Now let us carefully analyze the income statements of both these companies. Both the companies have an earnings before interest and tax of 25,000 each. From this you deduct the interest which is zero in case of A and 5,000 which is 10 percentage of the 15,000 loan in case of B. This leads us to the earnings before tax which is 25,000 in case of A and 20,000 for B. From here you deduct tax at 30 percentage which is 7,500 in A's case and 6,000 in B's case leading us to an earnings after tax of 17,500 for A and 14,000 for B. Clearly you can see that B is paying a lower tax by Rs. 1,500 than A. Why is the case? In the case of company B, interest being tax deductible leads to a savings in tax of 1,500. This 1,500 is nothing but 5,000 rupees interest into 30% tax rate. In the case of levered companies, the interest cost comprises of the actual interest cost or the outflow minus the savings in tax due to interest being tax deductible leading to a net interest cost. Another way to understand this is to look at the earnings available to the capital providers. In the case of A, it is just the earnings after tax which is rupees 17,500. But for B, it is the earnings after tax plus the interest which is 14,000 plus 5,000 which is 19,000. This additional 1,500 is nothing but the benefit gained due to interest being tax deductible which is called the tax shield. Hence, the cost of debt or KD is calculated as interest into 1 minus tax divided by current market price or net proceeds where 1 minus tax stands for the savings because interest is tax deductible or what we call the tax shield.